Hi Phil, welcome to Holy Habitus. This year, periodically I'll be vlogging on the topic of the shed, um, which stands for Seeking a Harvest Evangelistically Deliberate. It's basically this idea, if we want to see a harvest, we're going to need to be more deliberate or intentional about pursuing God conversations. And, uh, and it's basically this desire to speak to God more about people and to speak to people more about God. Um, to pray to God for opportunities to share faith and to pray for our friends and colleagues and family members who don't know him yet, that, that they might soften towards this gospel. Uh, and also to talk to people, those people, about God more and to seek to share the best thing that ever happened to us with them, i.e. that we met Jesus and he changed our lives forever. Um, to do that we need to be more bold uh, and more deliberate. The prayer of Acts chapter 4 verse 29 seems fitting to me. And now, O Lord, give us your servants great boldness in preaching your word. Boldness is not about feeling uh, fear, uh, not having fear. It means about feeling the fear but pushing through it anyway, about taking uh, those hurdles, those fear hurdles, and pushing through those fear barriers or going over those bumps. Um, when I was in Trinidad, I did a gap year about a dozen years ago now, uh, and I was there with a little team, and we used to have to get driven out from our place we were staying into the sticks to one of the schools where we were helping, and, and it takes us about half an hour. But I remember on the roads they had these speed humps, and I don't know whether it's that in Trinidad the speed humps are, are bigger than they are in here in England or whether the car suspension is worse, but you really had to take those bumps slowly. And our, we had a guy who was driving us and he used to sort of slow right down, he used to go diagonally over them and you'd hear the <laughs> scrape at the bottom of the car and you'd be like, oh gosh. Um, <laughs> and it was quite funny in, in many ways, but um, it, may, it makes me think about that in terms of evangelism. Sometimes there are these speed bumps these fear barriers in our conversations uh, with people. And there are several bumps I think that we have to overcome uh, if we're to, to get to the good place of being able to share our faith in a more meaningful way. The first speed hump is actually just starting the conversation. And sometimes that's about, as Bill Hybels talks about it, just crossing a room. It's about seeing somebody, being prompted by the Spirit and just crossing the room and, and starting a conversation. Sometimes that's a, that's a big hurdle, isn't it? Because we're stepping out of our comfort zone. Um, the second speed bump, I think, is about actually initiating a, a deeper conversation about God, getting God in there, saying what we did over the weekend, saying why our faith means something, sharing something of our heart uh, in terms of God with that other person. And that can be an awkward conversation to start you know, or to broach, a topic to broach. But once we're into the conversation, things get a little bit easier again and we're back on the road. A third speed bump might be if that person seems to be receiving what you're saying and responding to it positively, to, to put in some sort of challenge in there, saying, do you, do you want me to pray with you? Do, would you like to be interested in coming to a service along, along with me? Or, or, or would you like to become a Christian? We can do that right here, right now, what, what it might be. But that's the third speed bump. And, and too often we pull back before we, we cross the speed bump. We think, actually, I'll go another way. But we need to get better at it. Sometimes just having that language in our head of, oh, this is a speed bump I'm coming up to, uh, helps us to, uh, to, to be conscious of what we're doing in the situation and to ask for God for boldness just to cross that next bump. Just need to get across the bump and then we're away and then the next bump and we're away. Um, and it's really important that we do cross those speed bumps, not just for our sake, but for the sake of the person that we're speaking to. Um, so this week the challenge is let's take some speed bumps. Now for, for each of us it might be different. Maybe we need just to get better at that first speed bump of initiating conversations with people, getting to know our neighbours or, or crossing the room to talk to somebody uh, or at work or in a social situation. Um, maybe um, it's a second conversation, the second bump we need to take and in turning conversations in a Godward's direction. Maybe there's somebody who's circling the runway with God and has been for a while and they just need us to help them and that third bump is, is, is actually a bump God wants us to take this week with somebody. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? But the more we practice taking those early speed humps, uh, the more often we'll have the opportunity to take the second speed bump. That's the road of evangelism. So let's drive down it together this week and this month.